Let's learn how to take the response data from one request and use it in another request in Postman Flows. I have the random user API here, and when I send a call, I can inspect the random user return from the server. Now I'm going to get a new user every time unless I include the same seed in my next request. So let's save this response in request pair as an example so that Postman Flows can detect the structure of our response later on. Okay, so let us duplicate this request and call this get seeded user. And this is gonna require a query parameter called seed that includes the seed ID from the first request and save. So now we have two calls in our collection, get random user and get seeded user. Let's move over to flows and create a new flow. Let's call this get seeded user. And every flow starts off with a start block. Let's call our first request, send request, and select from the collections that are in this workspace. So the first call is gonna be get random user. From there, upon success, we want to call another request, and that's gonna be get seeded user. Okay, but wait, we need to extract the seed ID from this request and then feed it into this one. So let's create another block here and select data and then again, we saved that example earlier, so now we have access to what that response is gonna look like. So let's find scroll all the way down to the seed, body.info.seed property. And then from there, we will feed that into seed ID variable. Okay, so I have two lines connecting my first block, get random user, to the second block, get seated user. The first one is going to kick off the event, saying call this one after successful response of this one. And then the second line I have is going to pass through data, the seed ID, to define this variable. And of course, let's log the results to the console so that we have information about that. Let's close some panes and open up our console and run our flow. So Postman kicks off the first request, send request, and then the second one, the seeded request. And you can see that it's passed through the actual seed ID, you can see in the query parameter, extracted from the first call.